Hey everybody, it's Paige, and in today's video, I'm going to be handing off the camera to my boyfriend Jarvis. He is going to pick out an entire face of makeup for me. I wrote him a list of everything that he needs to pick out. <laughs> I might have to help him with like where products are. Uh, I gave him a quick little rundown. We'll see how he does. He's gonna have complete control over what products I use today. I'm a little bit nervous, um, but we've been wanting to film this video for quite some time. So if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy. And let's pass the camera off to Jarvis and go ahead and get started. Hey guys, it's Jarvis and I guess I'm taking over the video now. So um, I'm gonna pick out some stuff for Paige. I got this huge list of stuff that I need to get. Is this like what you like usually do for a look? Like yeah. all of these? Yeah. That's crazy. That's like 15 things on here. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, all right, I guess you're coming with me. I'm gonna leave uh -huh. so that you can pick all this out by yourself. Let me know if you need me. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm going. Out of here. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> my name is Jarvis Carrero and welcome to my crib. First question is, do we want to go in order or do we just start looking through the drawers and figure out what we need? I think she said that this list is in order of how the like cabinets are set up or whatever. Um, but yeah, all right. All right, so I know this is a drawer of just random stuff that she has in here that's like newer. And when we went to Morphe in Orlando, I told her that she should get this because it's like super bright pink and orange and I feel like she would never wear anything like that. So let's go ahead and give that a try. I think this is, is this eyeliner? I think this is eyeliner. It's from Suva Beauty. It's the Hydra FX thingamajig in the shade Doodle D. <laughs> this is Doodle D. Oh my god, my hands are like shaking. The camera's wobbling. So we have a new collection bag for my stuff, or shopping bag. Suva Beauty Hydra FX in the shade Doodle D. That's our first choice for eyeliner. So let's get our thing. Where is eyeliner? Eyeliner, eyeliner, eyeshadow, optional eyeliner and lip liner. It's so difficult to do with one hand. Boom. All right, so we're gonna look through this new drawer as well and pick something random out. Um, what is this? Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. So this is light coverage foundation, <laughs> which I guess we're not gonna do because if we're going for a crazy look, we should probably use a more full coverage primer or what did she say it was? Foundation? Anyways, okay. What else can we pick out of here? Um, what is this? What in the world is this? Lisa Frank? I feel like I used to see these in like elementary school. People had these backpacks and lunch boxes. So I ended up picking out this. Koki Professional Precise Longwear Liquid Eyeliner. Um, I just feel like eyeliner can't get that complicated. Is it always black? I don't know. And eyeliner is another optional one. Done, okay. So I got both the optional ones done, and now I need the actual stuff. I found it. The Fenty, oh boy. Yeah, this is the one. The Fenty Beauty Heat. I think that's what we're rocking with. Oh my god, is this too much? Is it too bright? This is kind of like a mix of the colors. It's super orangey. What are you guys feeling? You feeling the Dominique Cosmetics lip gloss? I think this is lip gloss, or it's not lipstick, but do you put lipstick under lip gloss? All right, this Ofra one looks crazy. It's like white, all white, but there's like shimmer in it. I think that would be a cool combo with that. Yo, the design of this Gucci lipstick is 10 out of 10. Look at this. No other lipsticks are anywhere near as cool as this one. What do we got here? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, it even says Gucci on it. What the heck? I don't know. I don't know. I think I'll give her the option to choose both or one or the other. <laughs> I asked her to label these for me and she said no. So <laughs> I'm struggling. Super setter. Okay. Okay. You know what? Just because it's on top. We're gonna use the Pore Professional. Oh, the Pore Professional Super Setter in some interesting text here. Huh, 
All right, <laughs> let's give it a shot. It looks like crazy glue. <laughs> I really want to try out this, or let her try this out. So, this is liquid highlighter. It is by Fenty Beauty in the shade Rollin' Dice, because, get it? All right, so I'm a very indecisive person. So we've pulled an audible. Ofra is gonna have to take the seat here because I picked the Fenty liquid highlighter. I'm also gonna go with the Fenty lip gloss. So I'm sorry, Ofra. We will pick out another one of your products in a second. Oh, here we go. Okay, I think we found some bronzers in here. So let's find one. Oh yeah, this is gonna be it. It's a lot of oranges, a lot of pinks. Okay, perfect. I think this is bronzer. Blush Illuminati. Blush Illuminati. What? <laughs> this is this is blush, right? Blush, blush. Okay, this is all blush. Okay. Okay, so we'll be using the hourglass blush. Alright, so looking here, we're gonna need some foundation concealer powder. And we still need a bronzer, so let's um let's pick another drawer here. Let's try this one. Oh, here we go. So this is foundation. So this bottle looks insane. This is the Pat McGrath Labs Skin Fetish in Sublime Perfection Foundation. Um, this is light medium 14. I don't know, is this too dark? All right, so I found this Milani Screen Queen that we'll use for the foundation since Miss Page Corn is the screen queen. Okay, so we found a real winner for the bronzer and it is this one. It's the Marc Jacobs one in the shade Tantastic. I think it's like the lightest color one. Oh my God, that angle's horrible. Tantastic Omega Bronze Coconut Perfect Tan. And it's just like the lightest colored bronzer that I could find, so let's, let's try that out. Okay, so we're looking for a brow pencil, brow gel, eyeshadow, and mascara. All right, I've been here for like an hour now, so let's go ahead and pick out a brow pencil and a brow gel, something like that. All right, I'm just gonna sit there. All right, so all that's left is an eyeshadow palette, so I'm actually gonna pick two that kind of fit like this kind of vibe here, and then we'll let Paige decide which of the two she wants to pick. All right, so here's a little overview of everything we got. Got a little Marc Jacobs, some Hourglass, Suva, Beauty. We've got some Tatcha, Huda Beauty, Juno & Co, Gucci, Glossier, Fenty, Benefit, NARS. Um, this is Charlotte Tilbury, Milani, Koki, Professional, <laughs> and ABH. So there you go. All right. It's all up to you, Paige. All right, guys. So Jarvis has called me in here because he finished picking out the products. So he's going to show me what he picked out, and that way I'll give you guys my first impression slash reaction. I'm really excited to see what he picked out. Um, so yeah, I only know one thing and it was something that he told me he was gonna pick and it's an eyeliner that he told me to buy, Let's just, we'll which just is go. this. <laughs> this is a water activated eyeliner from Suva Beauty, the Hydra FX, and it's in the shade Doodle D. It's like hot pink and orange so this is the only thing literally this is all that I know that you picked out yeah. all right that's so you... like establishing my color story here okay so. <laughs> I'm scared all right you ready yes I'm ready all right let's start off with the um the liquid eyeliner just okay a just a just <laughs> <laughs> you know that this is also eyeliner <laughs> So I have to use both eyeliners. Oh, okay, so, okay, I'll, no, take, I'll use both. No, no, no. I didn't know. You don't want to use. Do you want to use? It's both? up to you. Where did you even find this? I don't know. It's in one of the drawers. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll just set it over here. This is optional. Okay, optional. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and do the brow and stuff. Oh boy, I'm so scared. We went with the wombo combo here. We have both Glossier. Oh. Oh, interesting. Gel and pencil. So. Let's see. Oh, and you picked the clear one, probably not even knowing. You picked no, the clear brow I, gel. I know what I'm doing. Okay, okay, okay. Nice. Okay, I haven't used this in forever, so that's exciting. <laughs> okay, let's talk about the concealer. Okay, this is a, an interesting order. 
Um, ooh, NARS Radiant Creamy mm -hmm. Concealer. Mm -hmm. This is a classic. Okay, okay. Okay. So this is the bronzer. Okay, whoa, Marc Jacobs. Yeah. Fancy. It was like one of the lightest bronzers you yeah. had. I, I couldn't find a lighter one. No, that, this works great. Okay. It's fantastic. This cool. is this is a great shade. All right. That's a classic product. And we'll do the mascara real quick. Okay. Basic. Oh, wow. You remembered to come over here and pick yeah. it out? Or I thought that was the brand. Pillow talk. Oh no, Charlotte Tilbury. Yes. I love this mascara. <laughs> it's so good. Okay. Okay, good choice. Like okay, now let's um, let's do the setting powder. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. <gasps> Juno and Co. Yeah. Good choice. Thanks. Good choice. I love the packaging on this powder. So cute. Um, I might have messed up. No, uh -oh. no, 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 I didn't mess up. Okay. Okay, this is the primer. Okay, whoa, Tatcha. Yeah. Silk canvas. Ooh. We love Tatcha. Okay. Okay. Um. That's bougie. This was a, a risky choice. I don't know if that's gonna work here. I don't know. Yeah, this is great. This great? is a newer product. Okay. Yeah. I said it looks like crazy glue. Like crazy. The packaging looks like crazy glue. Interesting. Um, I don't know that I know what crazy glue It has like construction like. text. Look. Oh, like the the super setter part? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Alright. And let's just do foundation because this is important. Okay. I don't know if this is going to work, but... Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I used this once and I loved it, and then I used it again and I hated it. Oh, so we'll see how boy. it goes this time. All right. Okay, we're gonna go with the lipstick. Oh boy. Okay, so I didn't know if you wanted to use like a lipstick or a gloss. Yeah. Or both. Okay. So that's why I put the and option. or. Yeah. This is the lipstick. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> Hot pink Gucci lipstick. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. Okay. And then the gloss is this. <gasps> oh, I should have known you were going to pick something Fenty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love this lip gloss. And I actually chose an Ofra lip gloss first. Oh. But the reason I switched it is for this. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> I don't know if you can put liquid on liquid or how that works, but that's your highlighter. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, this is going to be a challenge. Wow, this is so freaking beautiful. Okay. 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 And then following the color story, we're okay. going to go with this blush. Oh, so you did choose a palette. Okay, which one? Um, oh, I was going to let you choose. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll choose But you one. have to use... No. Unless okay. you want to pick? I thought you would use the left two. Okay. Okay, can I can use the left two. I can do that. All right, and I actually got two eyeshadow palettes to give you options. Okay. okay. So, the classic first choice is going to be... Whoa. Neon. There you go. Neon, neon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Wow. So I love this. options there. So pretty. This is the... Neon orange. I don't know which one it is. There was a pink one, but it's yeah. So this is probably the orange one. Okay. And then, lastly. Whoa, the Norvina palette. So you could use one or both or. Okay. Okay. Neither. Okay. <laughs> wow. So there's a lot of neons in there. So. Oh yeah, my eyes are gonna be very interesting. I'm yeah. nervous, but I feel I'm like excited. You never do neon stuff. Yeah, no, I don't. I typically go neutral. So. All right. Well. Awesome. I'm excited. Thank you for picking all this out. You're welcome. It's all on you. I'll uh, I'll I'll pull you in here and sh like you do like a blind reveal, so you okay. can sit here and I'll stand back there and show you the look that I create when okay. I'm done. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Have fun. Peace out. Thanks. <laughs> Alright guys, so let's go ahead and get started with the makeup. So I'm going to go in with the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. I had to go grab the little scooper thing because um, I'm sure 
if you didn't know that that goes with this. I really like this primer a lot. It's a little bougie. Um, it lasts forever, uh, but it's really nice. It feels really good on your skin. It does a good job at filling in the pores. Our skin feels nice and smooth now, so we are gonna go in with the Milani Screen Queen Natural Finish Foundation. I don't know if this is gonna match me, so let's find out. I'm gonna pump a few pumps out. This packaging absolutely sucks. Um, uh, it looks like it's gonna be a little bit light, but it's fine. We'll make it work. All right, so um, I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but in person, this foundation is not blending out. It's like awkwardly sitting on my skin, and it looks so thick. <laughs> It kind of looks like um, almost like a face mask. So I definitely am not a fan of this foundation, but hopefully the concealer can help save the day. Also, my face is way too light right now. So we're gonna go in with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And I'm kind of probably gonna put this like all over just to have the best chance of saving the look. I don't know that the concealer is fixing anything, honestly. Oh, <laughs> I look like a ghost, oh my god. I think the concealer is honestly kind of like disrupting the foundation because I feel like it picked up the product on my chin and now I feel like it looks like a stripe of sheerness here. I could be wrong, but it just is looking super, super odd already so we're not off to the best start <laughs> my face is so pale but at least we have bronzer so we should be able to fix it and make it work i i've definitely dealt with worse situations in the past moving on to powder we're gonna go in with the juno and co translucent powder this is their makeup setting powder and it's called the juno blur and this comes in i think two shades we have translucent and like a banana color if you have a deeper skin tone so i'm just gonna dip into this with my sponge and then i'll go in with a brush to dust over the rest of my face we are looking ghostlier by the second oh my god this is so rough my skin looks extremely dry it's and it's just that foundation i I should have decluttered this a long time ago, but it's so weird because I remember I loved it the first time that I used it and then I tried it again and I was like, what the heck is going on? So we're going to go in with the Marc Jacobs bronzer that Jarvis picked out and I'm probably going to have to put this like everywhere <laughs> because my face is so pale right now. I might go back into the bronzer later, but now we're gonna move on to blush. Jarvis picked out quite a few bougie products. So this is from Hourglass. This is the Ambient Lighting Blush Quad Ghost. This is a holiday palette from a couple years ago. And um, I'm actually just gonna mix these two shades together since those are the two that he said he imagined I was gonna <laughs> wear. So I'm just gonna kind of tap back and forth into both of those and apply that to my cheeks a very like peachy pink kind of look wow that was intense that was way more intense than i expected but it's fine i love blush and my face is, face is lacking color right now so maybe this will make me look a little bit more alive moving on to the brows jarvis picked out a couple of glossier products which i have not used in forever we have the Brow Flick, which is like a brow pen. And then we have the Clear Brow Gel from Glossier. I don't even know if this brow pen is gonna have pigment in it. Let's see, oh yeah, it still has some pigment in it. So I'm just gonna kind of touch up the tail portion of my brow. Oh boy, I feel like this is really messy if you don't know what you're doing, but it's supposed to be like an easy, more like natural <laughs> type of brow which i definitely think it is but um you just have to be careful because it is kind of more like a marker like an eyeliner pen except not like super intensely pigmented it's intentionally a little bit more sheer so pretty easy to use this one is in the shade actually i don't know if this oh brown this is in the shade brown and again this is the brow flick then we're gonna go in with the boy brow, which is a very iconic 
product from Glossier and when you apply it, it looks white, which is interesting, but it will dry down and it'll be clear. I definitely am a fan of the Boy Brow, but again, I haven't used it in a while. So I was excited about this video because I knew he would choose things like completely unbiased to my opinions of them. So I knew it was going to be fun because when I pick products out for myself, I tend to stick to like the same things over and over again. So I was excited to try something different. So now we're going to move on to the eyes. I'm going to go ahead and spray this with some setting spray. This is just one that I had on my desk. This is like water activated liner from what I understand and you just spray it <laughs> like that and then you take a brush and it should basically like turn into paint and there is a swatch of the pink one. Let me grab another brush and show you what the orange looks like. So very neon, very bright. <laughs> now we have to decide what eyeshadow we're gonna wear that will look okay with this or will hopefully look good with this. So I think um, I'm gonna start with this middle shade here and I'm just gonna run that through the crease. I'm gonna be using just like a bunch of random Morphe brushes today because my bling brushes are all like, they have eyeshadow all over them and they need to be clean. So <laughs> I'm going to start by putting this in the crease. I'm really nervous. Obviously the eyeliner is going to be a statement, so I don't want to go like too crazy on the eyeshadow, but I also don't want to like wimp out and like, you know, not fulfill the challenge. So um, I'm just kind of layering this up in the outer corner and through the crease. I'll probably go in with a shimmer on the lid just to, you know, make it a complete eye look because I just, I can't. I can't wear eyeshadow without shimmer. I think I'm gonna tap into a little bit of this color right here and just kind of put that right in the outer corner just to deepen things up. Actually, I'll probably put it on like the outer half of my lid. I'm gonna go in lightly because... I don't want it to be too pigmented, but I also want it to show up. So we'll put this in the outer corner, pop a shimmer on the lid, and then we'll attempt to play with that eyeliner. I'm going back in with a little bit of that center orange color. I'm just kind of running that along the edge just to make sure we don't lose it. And I will be cleaning up the edge of that. I know it looks kind of intense and harsh right now, but I just want to kind of get the color where I want it <laughs> and then we can clean things up at the end but so far things are looking good for the shimmer I'm thinking so we have three options we have green pink and orange I think I'm gonna just, just gonna go in with the orange one because that's like the lightest color so I'm just gonna take that on my finger and apply that oh it has a little bit of like a green shift to it. It's a really chunky eyeshadow as well, so you gotta be careful. You will get some fallout. That is so pretty though. It's like a yellowish orange shimmer with a green, almost duochrome type vibe. All right, now it's time for the liner. I think what I'm gonna do is like an orange to pink wing. <laughs> this is literally so unlike me. So if this is the first video of mine that you're seeing, usually I do like everyday makeup, very simple, like neutral, pink, brown, rose gold kind of eyes. So this is not my expertise. I'm not very good with eyeliner. I'm just, this is totally me stepping out of my comfort zone. So I'm gonna go in with the orange and start by putting that on my upper lash line okay so we've got the start to the orange eyeliner and then i'm gonna have to like figure out how to blend it but we're gonna transition over into pink and then attempt to do a wing i suck at winged liner so this is probably gonna be rough but I'm still gonna try. <laughs> okay, honestly, it doesn't look bad. I kinda like it. 
Now getting this to match my other eye is gonna be nearly impossible, so I'm not even gonna attempt to record that. So <laughs> once I'm done with the eyeliner on this eye, I will be back and we will move on with the rest of the makeup look. All right, so okay, so here are the eyes. They're not perfect by any means, but they're honestly, I'm, I'm satisfied with them. I am happy. I really like the ombre look. I think it's really fun. I am going to go into this shade again and just kind of run this along my lower lash line just to give it some color because the top of our eye look is like so intense. So I'm going to focus this on the outer corner and then I'm going to go into the like other orangey kind of matte shade that we used in the beginning and I'm going to put that on the inner half of my lower lash line. Okay, so there is that. Um, I don't have like a highlighter for my inner corner and I realized that I already powdered my face without applying this as highlighter, but I don't even know if this is meant for your face. Um, so I don't know that I'm going to put this on my face. <laughs> I feel like I have to. Okay, I'm just gonna roll a bunch of it onto the back of my hand. And as you can see, it's super shimmery and sparkly. Here is a close-up, just in case you guys like don't know what this looks like. This is from Fenty. This is the Rollin' Dice Liquid Highlighter. And I'm gonna find a brush, I guess, and see if I can like scoop up some of that glitter and then see if that transfers. No, it doesn't. Okay, so this isn't transferring well, so maybe we'll just try the finger. This is honestly kind of like a um, like a festival look, I feel like. <laughs> it's not a day-to-day -day eye look or highlighter look for me personally. If this is your everyday makeup, then that's freaking awesome, but it's definitely not mine. He for sure set me up with a challenge. <laughs> I don't know if he thought, I don't know. I wonder what he's expecting from this eye look. Like, is he expecting, or from this makeup look, I should say, is he expecting something that I would go out in public wearing or is he expecting something crazy like this I have no freaking clue I guess we'll find out when we see his reaction I'm really nervous I hope he likes it <laughs> wow this is interesting I, I like mm, I don't know <laughs> um, okay my face is parched like absolutely parched and this setting spray is like a long-lasting makeup setting spray pore filling type thing so if I recall correctly I don't think it's super hydrating but we are going to go ahead and spray the face this stuff smells so good but I really hope that this will add some sort of hydration to my skin because it desperately needs it. And then he gave me options for lips. So I could do lipstick or lip gloss or both. I'm thinking this lipstick is not gonna be it. I just think it's too like, it's too like blue. So this is, this is a no. Or should I do it because that's what he picked out for me? I don't know. Let me just look at it with just the gloss. I think the gloss is better. We'll just stick with the gloss. My camera battery is about to die. I'm going to go in with mascara. This is the last product that we have to use, I'm pretty sure. And once I'm done, I will be back to show you guys the finished look. And then we will surprise Jarvis with the finished look. All right, guys. So here is the finished look. It's definitely different than what I'm used to doing, but I don't think it looks bad. I think it's kind of fun. I really like the eyeliner. This makes me want to play with like other colors of neon eyeliner. I don't know. I just think it's fun. Like, I'm not used to seeing myself <laughs> with such bright eyes, but I really like it. I'm really happy with what Jarvis picked out for the most part. The only product that I didn't like was this Milani one, which honestly I would consider this foundation a fail because of how like caked up it looks on my skin. My skin looks so dry and I have oily skin, like normal to oily, so it's very rare that my skin looks dry. But um, yeah, not the biggest fan of this foundation. It's also not the perfect color, but we made it work and I think Jarvis did a pretty good job. I am proud of him, so let's 
go get him. I'm gonna go get him without him seeing my makeup. I'm gonna have him sit down here and then you guys can see his first impression slash reaction. Yeah, because we gotta get your reaction. Oh boy. What okay. if it's not good? I, well, <laughs> you gotta react how you would. Okay. Also, you left your ice water on my gray mouse can we pad. move away from that? <laughs> and they condensated and now there's wet marks, so. Okay. <laughs> All right, are your eyes closed? No. Okay, close your eyes. Why don't you just turn around? Because I want you to close your eyes. So you're gonna turn around and I'm gonna close my eyes? Close your eyes and then I'm gonna turn around and then I'll tell you to open them. Okay, go ahead. Okay, close your eyes. Okay. I'll tell you when. Okay. <laughs> I gotta get so you can see me. Okay, I'm off to like your right a little bit. I feel like I'm flashbanged, like it's okay. so bright. <laughs> okay, um, okay. yeah, you can look. Yo, <laughs> sheesh. This was look. rough. Is it like, I'm like literally blind. It's like a, like a, what do you call it? Ombre? Yeah. Like, that's pretty cool. I did it like orange to pink. That looks awesome. The wow. highlighter was rough. I don't oh, know if you can. Did it change colors? Like you blended it in at the middle? Yeah, I blended it in that's at the That's crazy. Middle. But the highlighter was rough. I don't think that's meant for your face. I think that's like a body highlighter. <laughs> well, I've literally never seen a highlighter like this. Yeah. So I figured it'd it be was cool difficult to, try to out. apply, and it Man. looks. I feel like I'm going to like a rave or something. <laughs> yeah. It makes a cool sound. Did you try that? Yeah. yeah. But I feel like I'm going to like a festival or something. I feel like I need to see you like back here because okay. it's darker over there. Okay. So I can't like see like above your eyes. Yeah. Okay. That looks so much better. So yeah. Nice. It, it's from orange to pink. I feel like you never do the little wing thing. I don't right ever do winged liner oh. so that was new for me or different I guess. Well. And the lipstick looked terrible it did okay <laughs> yeah i wasn't sure it's like too blue of a pink so like it just didn't match yeah like i wasn't sure if you were going to use that or not yeah i said since you gave me an option i just went with the gloss yes. because i was going to just That's do why. this That's i was just going to go in with this since you picked it out but then i was like no it's going to be better if i just do the gloss so nice yeah, thanks for picking the products out for me. You're welcome. Come and pose with for a thumbnail. Oh boy. All right guys, so that was today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Give this video a thumbs up for Jarvis because he did such a good job. He deserves a round of applause. You guys should go follow him on Instagram and yeah. <laughs> Tell Jarvis he did a good job in the comments down below. So anyway, I love you all so, so much. I will have the products that I used linked in the description box in case you're interested. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.